Welcome to Space and Galaxy Facts. Space geeks usually talk about prominent things in the universe. For example, sun, moon, aliens and planets, etc. But for many people, things which are hidden from naked eyes are more interesting. It is a natural phenomenon that things which are relatively a mystery to humans always sound fun to learn and talk about them. One of those phenomenal mysteries are black holes. Most of us have studied about black holes in our school books, while some of us researched about it. They are massive objects, collections of mass, with gravity so strong that nothing can escape them, not even light. Today, we are going to tell you some jaw-dropping facts about these strangest wonders of the universe. The most common types of black holes are the stellar mass and supermassive black holes. Stellar mass black holes are created when massive stars explode, leaving behind a black hole with the mass of just a few suns. Supermassive black holes exist in the hearts of galaxies and usually contain the mass equivalent of millions of suns. Let's dive deeper into these giant mysteries. So hello everybody, you are watching Space and Galaxy Facts, and today we are going to tell you some astonishing facts about the black hole. Number 5. Gravity of a Black Hole The massive gravitational influence of a black hole distorts space and time in the near neighborhood. The closer you get to a black hole, the slower time runs. Material that gets too close to a black hole gets sucked in and can never escape. The black hole would have the same gravity as the sun. Earth and the other planets would orbit the black hole as they orbit the sun now. From the viewpoint of an observer outside the black hole, time stops. For example, an object falling into the hole would appear frozen in time at the edge of the hole. If stuff falls into the black hole, it moves at almost 56,000 miles per second. On a lighter note, I suggest you not try jumping off right into a black hole. Number 4. Movement in Black Hole We often see the movement of things in black holes. The material spirals into a black hole throughout an accretion disk, a disk of gas, dust, stars, and planets that fall into orbit the black hole. Researchers found that the axis of rotation of a black hole in a binary system is tilted more than 40 degrees relative to the axis of stellar orbit. The flare originates in a clump of gas swirling around the black hole at about 30% of the speed of light in a clockwise direction in the sky, with the orbit of the hotspot being nearly face-on. The singularity at the center of a black hole is the ultimate no-man's land, a place where matter is compressed down to an infinitely tiny point and all conceptions of time and space completely break down. And it doesn't really exist. Something has to replace the singularity, but we're not exactly sure what. What do you think it could be? Share your thoughts. Number 3. Event Horizon The point of no return around a black hole is called the event horizon. This is the region where the gravity of the black hole overcomes the momentum of material spinning around it in the accretion disk. Once something crosses the event horizon, it is lost to the pull of the black hole. Basically, a black hole's surface, called its event horizon, defines the boundary where the velocity needed to escape exceeds the speed of light, which is the speed limit of the cosmos. Matter and radiation fall in, but they can't get out. Hawking famously showed that a black hole doesn't last forever, but eventually explodes in a burst of intense radiation, leaving no trace of whatever fell into it. No matter what type of black hole you fall into, you're ultimately going to get torn apart by the extreme gravity. No material, especially fleshy human bodies, could survive intact. So once you pass beyond the edge of the event horizon, you're done. There's no getting out. It is scary, though, that Heil said it would take about 10 to 15 minutes for the entire Earth to fall into the black hole and get destroyed or vanished forever. But we now know that black holes actually evaporate, slowly returning their energy to the universe. So relax, viewers. We're not going to scare you. Wait, wait. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can get notifications of more amazing facts delivered directly to your inbox. Number 2. Research History of Black Holes One thing was clear. If black holes did exist, they were most likely formed by the collapse of massive stars, unable to support their own weight after running out of nuclear fuel. 
The question most astronomers were focused on was, how do we find them? After all, black holes give off no light of their own. Astronomy needs light, and to make light, you generally need matter. The hotter and brighter, the better. Black holes were first proposed to exist in the 18th century, but remained a mathematical curiosity until the first candidate black hole was found in 1964. It was called Cygnus X1, an X-ray source in the constellation Cygnus. However, it didn't coincide with any particularly bright optical or radio source, leaving its physical origin a mystery. In 1967, John Wheeler invented the name black hole for the first time. Before that, they were called dark stars. In the 1980s, astronomers began searching for supermassive black holes in earnest. The first suggestion was in the galaxy M87, the giant central galaxy in the Virgo cluster of galaxies. Remarkably, the black hole mass estimate, based on a very crude approximation, is very close to the present-day measurement. Another amazing thing about this discovery is that it happened during the Great War. Interesting, right? Number 1. Detection of a Black Hole Although the black holes are invisible, some of the matter that is falling into them is very bright. Scientists can't directly observe black holes with telescopes that detect X-rays, light, or other forms of electromagnetic radiation. We can, however, infer the presence of black holes and study them by detecting their effect on other matter nearby. Astronomers have used an X-ray magnifying glass to study a black hole system in the early universe. The amplification and magnification of light by an intervening galaxy allowed the detection of two distant X-ray emitting objects. There is another way of detecting a black hole, which is as we see an empty spot where all of the stars are circling around, as if they were orbiting a really dense mass. That is where the black hole is. I guess we told you an interesting way of detecting a black hole and eased your thoughts. So guys, that's all for today. I hope today's video impacted your imagination in a good way and gave you a lot more to wonder. If you know something amazing about black holes apart from this video, kindly share it in the comments section. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more spicy and exciting facts about space and galaxy. Have a good one. We are out.